Doctor, there's a 28-year-old female, G4, P3, A1, a claim to seizure six minutes ago in L and D. She's been on magnesium six admission 12 hours ago. We're going in for an emergency C-section. The OR team is ready. We have all my preferences set for a C-section. You do? Okay, got all the right equipment, instrumentation that we need for this case. Can you put me up here? You're done. The obstetrician is being summoned to the delivery room for a patient who's experienced an eclamptic seizure. The labor and delivery of nurses right, informing great. the doctor the condition of the patient. The anesthesia team is being summoned and they're preparing to do a general anesthetic uh, for this patient. The anesthesia team pre-oxygenates and uh, renders the patient unconscious, uh, secures the airway so the surgical case can begin. Fentanyl in, propofol, and now succinyl All right, we're in. Thanks for pressure. pressure on. Okay, cut. Let me get the knife. The surgical team begins the procedure. Incision is made. Anesthesia table down, please. Can I get a Boca clamp ready, please? Sponge on a stick. Let's go. Can I get a Balfour ready, please? The various uh, surgical technicalities are done. Let's go. We have a bleeder. Four by four. Come on. Can you clear this heel, please? Anesthesia table down. Legs coming out. Clamp. Baby is removed from the mother and handed to the neonatal team. Where's the NICU team? Get in here! Okay, let's start some pit. Because of the mother's seizure and her preconditions, the baby is uh, heart rate is 60 and the baby is not breathing. The uh, neonatal team is now resuscitating the baby. They uh, manually ventilate the baby, the baby with oxygen and they perform chest compression CPR. Looks like she's pinking up. Today's scenario is uh, based on the precepts of a crisis resource management uh, in which we have an obstetrical patient who has experienced a, uh, a seizure, an eclamptic seizure, which is part of a, a condition of pregnancy. This patient requires an emergency surgical intervention, a cesarean delivery, cesarean section. And so our students today will be participating in a simulation on which they will play roles uh, of the team members and participate uh, in both the emergency surgery and care of the baby once it's born. It's an extraordinary good tool for instruction. It also allows us to point out gaps in students' knowledge, gaps in behaviors. There's a whole cluster of non-technical skills that are important, uh, how they communicate, their leadership skills, their, uh, how they manage tasks, how they uh, promote situational awareness in the room. And so we can, we can actually do that, film that, reflect on that, and point that out to them.